Hi, and welcome back to the Medieval Baby Challenge. This is Christy, and Zoya has finally gotten some sleep. It's been a little bit rough for her, but we have a big episode today. We're going to be aging up a few infants and giving birth. So we just played a little bit through the night, and uh, we had our first ghost. Oh, there she is. She's in the garden. Perfect. Um, I think this, yeah, this was our ranch hand, right? <laughs> I, I think so. And then Johnny came over and he's doing laundry. We managed to actually like put the laundry on the line and he's out in his underwear helping out. Love it. And we managed to do like a small painting and harvest or sell some of our onions before she went to bed. Babies are probably going to be getting hungry soon. Okay, we got two that are we're gonna feed here in a little bit so their birthdays are today for the three oldest so as soon as we get those notifications we are aging them up so make sure you hit that like button please subscribe and let me know what you think oh is our ghost going to like help with the children i mean that's a way to get child care is with ghosts i mean maybe she'll at least like entertain them are you terrified of the ghost um Oh, no, you just want, like, to be helped. You want a bath. Oh, but your dad's here. He can... Oh, are you gonna... Not gonna help him? No? Oh, okay, you can blow a kiss. Cool. So I think we should wake up Zoya. She's going to feed a couple of the infants. And how far along are we? We got eight hours until the third trimester. I feel like this pregnancy is taking a long time. And here, why don't, can you get fed by your dad? Oh, that would be nice. It's okay if other people bottle feed. Just Zoya can't. And you keep going. Is this your favorite? The, the blonde? Um, Marissa? She keeps going. Oh, wait, did you not feed? No, you didn't feed any of them. Okay, hold on. So she keeps going to that one. Is it because the ghost was by her? I don't know. Okay, she was, like, really cold, so even though she can't freeze to death, um, figured we will get her into her other clothes. You're missing a hand. Okay, Johnny is done with this child. Maybe he can feed the Marissa. There's just so many milestones. <laughs> like, they're all getting, like, them back to back. First word. No, he's leaving. He wouldn't feed the last one in. Oh, that's right. Every time I forget. I'll wait till she's done haunting. I'm like, oh, I'll go into Bill Bye, fix that. I'll replace the table. I am going to do that. Okay. Johnny, you're stuck here. You can't go anywhere. Oh, first blowout. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to fix the little handprints and we will replace the table. And we have 200 bucks. I'll just reset to 200 after I'm done. Here we go. We have the table that I planned on and a different rug and then those are a little bit more even. Okay, just dripping pee on her brother. That is cool. Oh, and you need to pee. Okay, we are we gonna use the chamber pot? Are we actually gonna make it? I don't know. Okay, we had to bring we had to bring our daughter with us to pee. Hopefully you will pee with her. Yes. It's so amusing that they <laughs> we'll do this. Okay, we're not going to cross it. We have to, like, finish feeding the rest of the children. Oh, look at it. She's doing tummy time. We got ghosts that are, like, doing more parenting for our children. Like, we feed them. Ghosts teach them. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. It's, um, it's about daylight. It's like the ghosts help them with their development. You're supposed to not put her outside. Pick her up. Pick her up. Come on. There we go. And we put her inside. So it looks like there's just one more child that needs to be fed. She's asleep. <laughs> then hopefully we just get their notification soon. We'll have to start like cooking meals. And we don't get to like store them in the fridge. So we have to do a lot of cooking. Oh, there, there she is. She, I guess like the snow like held her up. Okay. Take care of the chickens, please. And, um, 
yeah, we have like some romance with her now, so she might be the next baby mama. Very convenient. And we're gonna have to do, oh, you're hungry. We're gonna have to do some more like cooking so you can eat and do the painting. Let me just double check the children. No one's hungry. So <laughs> let's go to prepare because, well, I don't know what time they're gonna age up, but I'm just gonna make like a family serving or, okay, I guess it's going to be gruel. I'm, the kids will love that party size. It will be hilarious if um, any of them get like a top-notch infant or like they had a good childhood. It would be, be impressive. Okay, John's a self-soother. Good. He made it into a crib. That's impressive. Oh yeah, we need... I think the toddler beds are pretty cheap for the kind of medieval style ones. So we're going to need to make some room. Uh, we'll find out how many toddler beds we need. Okay, grab grab some of your gruel, and then we will do some painting. You're feeling great. You're a baby maker and pregnant. How long? We have three hours until the last trimester. No, ignore. Eat. All right, John has had his first blowout now. Oh, did you take care of the coop? No. Come on. Can I, like, assign her to take care of the coop? We do have eggs. Oh, and you're, but you're tired. Mmm, we had a big day. And we still have satisfaction points. We're not going to be able to use these much longer. Because uh, we're down. To, yeah, we'll have one more that we can do. Unless we can get some points. So we're going to have her do a sleep replacement. Okay, I'm not convinced the ranch hand is actually going to clean the coop, so I guess we will. Um, I know the weather isn't great. She just keeps coming inside. But, you know, we gotta keep our chickens happy. Yeah, don't, don't run inside. Just clean this uh, real fast. And then I will... Yeah, we have time for, like, a real quick bath. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just place the trash on the floor. Cool. They keep trying to empty this trash bin and then just like dump it right here. Oh, for some reason this trash can doesn't want to work. Okay, I just went with a different trash can that's still not working. Um, is it from a lot? I, I, this might be just glitched. Yeah, that shouldn't maybe put it here. There we go. We can throw trash away now. We are now in the third trimester, so maybe tomorrow. I really want their notifications. I just want to age them up. Okay, we can at least pay the ranch hand who isn't doing anything anymore. Um, let, you're very angry, so we can't search pockets. We already did. Okay, they're starting to get hungry again. No, can we, like, age them up before, at least the oldest three, before we feed them? Okay, we're going to harvest our onions this time, um, instead of selling them. So, like, we actually have over 300 bucks, but this way we can make, like, onion soup, and it'll be better than gruel. Well, we are parenting level six now, okay, getting closer, and we got their notifications. So, as soon as we finish feeding John, we are aging them all right up. Alright, here is Marissa, and she got unhappy infant, no surprise. And she is difficult, but plucky, which means she is fearless, not afraid of thunderstorms or strangers. And now Angelina actually got happy infant. Oh, how? But you, maybe because she was calm. But she uh, has an imagination delay and is slow to warm up. Oh, we're gonna get like gifts that we can sell. Love it. We might we'll keep a few, but with we're we're gonna be getting a lot of them coming up, and that will be uh, probably our primary income. So actually, we should probably check the mail. We might have some, and also got unhappy infant. But you're talkative and bouncy. So these toddlers are very playful and energetic. Okay, so we have to do their death rolls. So for toddlers, if they roll 4, 8, or 12, they don't make it. 
So we're going to do Marissa first. 19, she's good. Uh, Angelina, she's good, 20. And Rosa. Okay, all three survive into toddlerhood. So before we need to, we need three toddler beds now. So let's and get the mail and see what, okay, no, I think the infants are fine. Yeah, they're fed. But let's see if we have any toys for when they aged up to infants that we can sell. No, we just have bills. Okay. But we can sell the Vitality uh, thing. We have quite a few onions and how much? 569. Ugh. Okay. Well... I might sell some of these, like, baskets. Oh, you already got food. Good. We have stinky laundry. That's great. But, yeah, I might sell some of these things so that we have room and money. Okay, I moved one of the cribs and a bassinet into the inventory. And the beds are only five bucks. So, perfect. We have three toddler beds. And I got a couple little... Little tiny chamber pots for them. We do have a little chamber pot in the game now, but it looked a little too nice. And I got them a few toys. They each have one toy. Um, but the next, we have to pay our ranch hand. And then we need to, like, hopefully be able to make some money to pay our bills. And then we can think about expanding the house because we're going to need to do that very soon. So we also need to do some makeovers. So while we still have eight sims or less, I'll be giving them makeovers, but probably won't be doing that once we have more. So we'll have to go in individually and we'll just kind of see. They might look a little crazy later on, but let's hop into Cass and update them. Okay, here is Marissa. So the I only did their outfits for everyday sleepwear. I did a hot weather because I don't I don't know how long they'll be toddlers because we hopefully will age them up early if they get their skills and their cold weather. So we have a Marissa and her outfits. They're all all their outfits are very similar because I don't have many options for toddlers. But here is also Angelina. They all have, like, dark under eyes, which, I mean, they've been through some stuff. So here is Angelina. And lastly, we have Rosa. So I kind of kept their skin details with how they aged up. Um, they had freckles, just gave them eyelashes. Like here, well, her cold weather, hot weather, uh, not party. <laughs> sleepwear and every day. So we have toddlers now. Okay, let's make sure all the toddlers get some food. And when I previously did the 100 baby challenge, I aged some, if I had like twins and triplets or whatever, I aged them all up at the same time. So even if like one made it, so they got their skills, but like their twin didn't, I waited to age them both up. I'm not going to do that this time. Like once one of them hits all their skills, we'll age them up, especially because we do have delays with the extra traits that I have. Um, and then we can hopefully move through this a little bit quicker. And everyone has a bed now. Isn't that exciting? So while they can take care of themselves for a minute, let's do like another painting. Um, if you can do that real quick before the ranch hand leaves so we can pay her. Cause I think it's about 200. Oh, you are like saying goodnight. That was cute. I think she's starting to like our children. So here, I know you're stinky, but why don't you like play with your wooden duck? Um, yeah, maybe when you're done, you can play. Oh, here. Why don't you grab a toy? Grab the, um catapult. <laughs> Couldn't think of what that was. And then, you know, we got a shield for the last one. Okay, we're slowly making more money. Here, grab a serving before this spoils. We got 38 minutes. And then I think these toddlers are, no, well, some of them are getting tired. And we got the thinking skill. Okay. I'd say imagination and probably movement, communication are going to be the easiest 
thinking that probably will take the longest. I don't have any of the thinking toys right now. We'll, we'll get more toys, but I just need to make sure that we can pay our ranch hand because we don't want her going anywhere. And she has survived this long. So just to kind of take a look at what's coming up, the other infants will be aging up on Sunday. So we'll be giving birth tomorrow on Friday. So only a couple days. Um, we'll only have like one day with infant, lots of infants. That feels a lot shorter than the other ones. But then the toddlers, we have a little over a week to get their skills up to age them up early. I would love to age them up before like Winterfest, but we'll see. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot. Um, we're going to have death rolls for Zoya. That always makes me nervous because we don't have any kids that are at least teens to. Okay, yeah. Invisible hand, invisible bowl. We don't have any teens to take over yet. Oh, that's right. One of them has an imagination delay. Oh, that's fun. She says she's like, I'm not happy at all. We'll give her a bath. Okay, Marissa's already imagination level two, and so is Rosa. Good. Um... Yeah, maybe you guys can actually... Uh, let's see, why are you angry? Oh, because you're difficult. Why don't you come out and, like, play in the snow? Both of you. Like, make you walk a little, little ways. Okay, see, they don't mind the blizzard. That's fine. And is Zoya permissive? Sure. <laughs> Here, I know you need attention, but why don't you play in the counter? Get your thinking. And maybe mom can give you attention in a little bit. She's going to need the chamber pot. But one of them is going to sleep. And then this one will just do whatever she wants. And we should probably make... Think about food soon. Oh, I should remember the infants. <laughs> They're just now in their cribs over here. Okay, we need to feed the infants first. Like, look at how mad she is. But we're going to have them like interact. That will be your attention. Feed John. Let's wake up Cherish. You're going to have to feed her and probably pee yourself. <laughs> oh, she just like kicked her sister. Oh my god, look at that. Um, yeah, Marissa and Angelina are difficult. Not, oh my god. <laughs> like her face is so grumpy. I love it. She's just like, oh grumpy old man. That's kind of how I picture her. Are you, are you trying? Are you trying? Oh, Angelina's communication level three. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll get the toddlers to sleep. And feeding both the infants fed. Good. Um, you go, no, go pee. Don't check. Don't check anyone. <laughs> go. Your hygiene is actually not terrible. Okay, the house is almost in order. It's not as disgusting as it was. We got three toddlers asleep, infants fed, be a baby tomorrow, I think in the morning, afternoon, and we're out of water. <laughs> but we're doing all right. Oh, we should probably feed, um, yeah, we should probably like refill prairie grass. Okay, hopefully Bluebell will be happy, and yeah, you can um, check on the infants. Why are you two awake? I think because the infants were crying. Oh, you know, actually, before you give a bath, let's like potty train this one. Rosa, she needs to potty. Oh, she doesn't want to. Well, <laughs> for high maintenance sim, I'm this. This is a great life for you. Oh, and Johnny's back. We will definitely let him come in. And we're going to do some cooking. Like, I like that he shows up in his underwear, but he does help clean up. And Zoe is starting to get a little bit tired. We might be able to sleep. We might not need as many sleep replacements, hopefully, because we only have enough for one more. Wait, no, Johnny, don't leave. Don't leave. Come on. Where are you going? To the bush? Nope, you're leaving. Okay, I feel like I probably should just give him a key. <laughs> but we will cook our onion soup. Okay, we're going to eat and then I think have her do a small painting and get some sleep. And it's about three in the morning. 
probably not much sleep. Uh, the infants are going to need to be fed soon. Beautifully realistic. Okay. Uh, we're an entrepreneur. So let's go ahead and use the chamber pot. And then we're going to feed these ones. And get some sleep. And baby will be here soon. Alright, the toddlers are waking up. But we'll get some of their onion soup. Um, Zoya, you're not getting much sleep at all, but, okay, I'm just, like, watching it, waiting for it to start, like, glowing. But here, out oh, here is our ranch hand. Wait, how much longer do we have of winter? <laughs> okay, we still have, like, another week of winter, that's right. I mean, I guess it just became winter, but I'm ready for it to be done. Okay, the cows are, cows and chickens came out, love it. So if we're able to, we will milk and collect the eggs. If we can make it out of the house, we have more onions we can harvest. So we will at least have like food and we can sell the milk and eggs probably for now until we can get other ingredients to make other food. And so we have like a little bit better foundation for money. I was just thinking like we need to get the mail to be able to get the toys and the mail lady has come. Perfect. So we're going to do that, I think, first. Oh, mail lady is also pregnant. Well, good for you. All right, I know she's not fully rested, but we are going to be having the baby very soon. So let's at least get the mail. And what do you want to do? You want to have a child. Well, you are about to. Okay, and what did we get? Ooh, so I think let's, like, keep maybe like the cat and sell everything else we don't need a lot of toys 700 bucks perfect um we should probably we'll, let's pay our bills we need to do that okay we still have 472 we can pay our ranch hand and we're, we're not doing bad so let's come and collect eggs and Milk Bluebell, if we have time. We have a hatchful egg, yes. So, that's excellent quality. We're gonna put that in there. We have um, an orange egg and then just a couple chocolate eggs. Oh, and we are in labor as soon as we finish milking. Let's come, and there is patient, <laughs> Patient's Riches from um, actually my test family for the uh, ultimate decades challenge which i will be recording uh, very soon that might come out before this episode but okay no ignore the toddler we need to have a baby she probably like wants to be potty what are you doing where are we taking her just bring her out no we're not giving her a bath <laughs> no we we have other other things to do oh okay and then she just uses her diaper but, all right, it is baby time. Okay, we have a boy. So I'm going to do like I usually do and just randomize three times and pick the one that I like. So Jose, Vikram, or Zachariah. Zachariah is um, time appropriate. And another boy. We have Dimitri, Adriel, or Steve. We're just going to go with Steve. Okay, so apparently I'm just picking the third one. Okay, twins, and that's it. So we have two, four, six, we have eight, excuse me, we have eight sims now. Okay, invisible baby. But we, no, communication level three. We have to do death rolls. It's not over yet. So let's roll for Zachariah and Steve and Zoya. So I'm going to roll for Zoya first for the first baby. So if she rolls a one, she doesn't make it. An eight. We're good. For the babies, if they roll five, ten, fifteen, or twenty, they don't make it. So let's do Zachariah. Six. We're good. And Zoya again. Fifteen. Ooh, good. And now Steve. 14, they all make it. Okay, we're having good luck. I was a little bit worried, but um, good. So uh, you're immediately asleep. They usually um, might. I don't normally record in the morning, but when I do, my voice is rough. Um, they usually need to be fed. Makes sense uh, once they are born. 
So we're gonna feed them both. And yeah, we have seven living children. We've only lost one so far. And we'll only have like four infants for a couple days. And the toddlers have getting are getting some skills. Um let's see, Marissa, she's almost level three communication, level two imagination. Angelina's level three communication already. I think she's the one with imagination delay. And Rosa is already three communication, two imagination, movements getting there. So yeah, we're doing great. But I think this will be a good place to end it. So everyone survives. We had two more babies. We have toddlers. They're making progress. Next time we will get Zoya pregnant and we will also be aging up Cherish and John. Um, actually, is our ranch hand still here? She should be. It's, um, only one o'clock. I don't see her. Hmm. Okay, I don't know where our ranch hand went, but let me just double check. Shuffling way out here. I say we can try to get her pregnant right now. You really need to pee. Hmm. Oh, you're cold, like... Oh my god, change your outfit. We can't have anyone freezing to death. Change your outfit and then maybe Apple wants to play with you. Okay, the Rantan's back. What if we... Oh, I have to go... No, that'll be next time. I'm like, I have to go into cast, make sure she can get us pregnant, and do all that stuff. So we'll do that next time and see if we can have a baby with our ranch hand. So make sure you hit that like button. Please do subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. I will see you all next time. Bye.